Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to read data into R. So I've got my blank R Studio open here and there will be times when you want to read in some especially small quantities of data and not have to go out to a file and copy and paste or anything like that. So if we want to read in data to do some quick calculations or some quick data analysis, here's what we're going to learn how to do in this video. So the data sample that I'm going to use, I have an Excel file here with some data representing the price of oil and the price of gold over a 12 month period. This was back in 2018. So I want to be able to do stuff with the with these values here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the read the data into R. Now there's two ways I can do it. One is I can read the file in, but another way is a quick way also where we're going to read in the data uh, manually. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's start off by creating a vector and so I'm going to read in the oil data and I'm going to call my uh, oil uh, data vector name the word oil, O-I-L. I'm going to assign that using the assignment operator and the combine function. I'm going to read in all the values from my data file here. So I'm going to type these out manually, uh, 54, 55. So these are monthly prices from some time ago. 49, and then the last two values are 51 and 55. So um, you can see here what we're trying to do here. We're going to create this vector called oil using the combine function to combine these 12 numbers. Now, if I, for readability, if I want to, I can spread these numbers out a little bit. So I'm going to do that here. Uh, you don't have to have these spaces in, but sometimes it just makes it a little bit easier for you to read it or troubleshoot at a later stage. So now I'm ready to run my line of code. So uh, let's hit the run button. And uh, all we're doing here is you can see in the console, the, the code has been replicated and no, nothing has happened yet. But over in the global environment, we can see we have a value called oil. So that's the vector name that I gave this vector. We can see that it's a numeric vector and it has 1 to 12 values in square brackets here. So that's 1 to 12. And then we can see the values 50, 46, 54, 50, 46, 54 are now stored in that vector called oil. So now I can do things with this. So if I want to, for example, just see the contents of the vector, use the print function and choose run, print the oil vector. And we can see we get our full vector displayed down in the, in the R console. Now I can also, uh, the second um, um, set of data that were there were prices for gold. And uh, now I'm not going to type those out, it'll take a long time, but I do have them on my, on my clipboard. So I'm just going to right click in, in R Studio and select paste, and that puts in all my values. Now you can see that this is running off the screen here, so I can at any stage in here, I can um, place the cursor in front of a value after a comma and press enter to move it down onto the next line. Now R is going to read all of that as one line, and we don't need to add in anything extra to ensure that it reads both. So I'm going to just choose to run this, and the prices of gold we can now see in our values. Again, we can see that they're numeric values, and that their sequence is 1 to 12. We've got 12 values in total. Had I had a 13th value here, it would, it would show 1 to 13. And we can see 1, 2, 6, 7, 1, 2, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 8, the values that I have read in there. And then I can also do things like if I want to, for example, print out all the values for the gold vector, uh, choose to run that, and it displays all my values down in the console. So um, R is very much a data analysis language, so very often you will want to read in some data very, very quickly and it might save you some time instead of going off to read in uh, data from a file. Clearly this is a very, very slow method of reading in large quantities of data and you'll need to learn how to read files in to do that. But this is how you um, read data, a simple set of data into R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.